So, Tony, it, I, I know that um, the, the beauty of AI is that it's, it's not static and all of us find ways to make it our own. And I know you thought about this a lot and could talk about many ways that you've innovated using AI. And so can you pick uh, one or two examples and share that with the world? Sure. So um, there's a, a couple that come to mind. Uh, one of the areas I play around most in is strategy, uh, strategic planning, culture building. So obviously building on the good work of Jackie Stavros and SOAR has sort of transformed, uh, you know, the typical deficit based approach. Um, the things that I, I uh, some of the innovations is really around integrating more design and visual thinking into strategic planning or any type of group processes. So it's not just about the narrative data, but coming up with new visuals and ways of getting people on the same page. So when I talk about strategy, I talk about, it's uh, you know not just about getting a plan, it's about coming together for shared understanding for coordinated action. So, you know, some of the things that I have created with clients are like a strategy on a page. So that you actually have a visual image on one page that gets people moving in the same direction together. So that's, you know, one of the things from a work perspective. And then um, the other thing that I would say is an innovation is building on the other story about um, the coming, uh, the book Healing Conversations Now, and how do you have appreciative conversations about end of life. Um, and that was really powerful. It wasn't the book that I intended to write. I <laughs> thought it would be a strategy book, but it was the book that was being called to be written uh, for both myself and for the world. And it's about um, how do we, as human beings, see the world from an appreciative perspective when death might be perceived as the ultimate problem to be solved uh, or the ultimate mystery to be embraced. Um, so for me, it's about finding, I, I, it's like being a detective or finding the ways to bring many different puzzle pieces together. So uh, I think when I first started with appreciative inquiry, I was a bit of a purist. Uh, but now I see myself as blending together these puzzle pieces, whether it has to do with Six Sigma, whether it has to do with designer visual thinking and blending these things together. Like I mentioned, it's uh, uh, a lot of people that are learning about AI. If it's written in the book, that's how they think you do AI because there's a case study, a story, it's written down. Uh, but like you mentioned, the beauty of appreciative inquiry is the many different ways that it can unfold. And if you view yourself as an innovator, <laughs> the sky's the limit. So I just love playing with it and discovering new ways to use it in my personal and professional life. Thanks, Tommy, for sharing your stories. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for, thanks for interviewing me. It's nice to, it's like the good old days. <laughs> <laughs>